Hello, this is Bradman45 as always, and welcome back to the I think this is gonna be the last episode of Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. Not entirely sure. It's been like ages since I recorded one of these. So in this episode, as promised ages ago in a past video, I'm going to be looking over the mini games that we hadn't had a look at. I've got a list next to me that's likely to run out of charge during this video, so I'm all set. I'm recording with a new setup. Uh, by the way, the little flowers mean I've got all the mini games in that section. So we're going to start off with Wario. Good old Wario. Now, for the first mini game that we're going to look at, it's going to be called On the Ropes. And I think it's this one. So, On the Ropes. I'm not sure what language even that is. Anyway, it's interesting. We're going to play all of them at the that We're going to play all of them medium. You think? Why am I asking you? You can't respond. Okay, yeah, that's how it's going to work. So, the way we go. This is the skipping rope, basically. Okay, this is too quick. So that's level one. Level two is this. I should play them at minute. So you do it, you just spin it around. It's level three, and you just spin it around to get three, three of them jumping. <laughs> I'm, I, this is going to take like two seconds, this video, if I do them all at that speed. So I'm going to slow it down for the next one, which is take a stab at it, which is the next one along. So I'm going to do it at two, two knots. This is a boat. Remote control. Yay, I got an aubergine. That's what we call them. Not an eggplant, it looks nothing like an egg. What? What's this love for aubergines? What? Last time. Oh, oh god. No, more aubergines! I don't want any aubergines, okay? Oh. So that's the aubergine game. You have to catch loads of aubergines. Wario Foo is the next one. Each, which is this one here. Master Warrior wants to teach us something and I'm not even sure what it is. Oh I know what this one is. I have to avoid lots of stuff. It's a nice little mini gamey thing. Of course it's a nice little mini gamey thing, that's what they all are. Hoya. The last one is Chaos. The last one that is the only one that I played. Ah peoples and now ruin the temple. The end. Right, that's Wario Fu, and now last one is Poster Child. Which is basically I'm not I'm still not entirely sure what you have to do with this one, but I think you have to flatten the poster out. And ah oh, Jesus! <laughs> I hope that this, this is gonna happen three times and I'm gonna get scared every time. Stay back Wario. Ooh. <laughs> Anybody want a look, close look at Wario's face? Because this is the mini game to do so. <laughs> it was the same three times in a row. Okay, that's all of Wario's games. Now we're going to move on to at a thousand mile an hour because that's the way that I do these episodes. We're going to move on to Mona's games, which I didn't actually play that much of in the main thing. Welcome committee is the first one, which is this one here. So this is this one you're nice and friendly towards the. Um, extraterrestrials. Give him a nice present. <laughs> Which is probably what we'd do if we had extraterrestrials. You're probably not going to be able to hear the Wiimote noise because the microphone's like a thousand miles away. No! Look how happy that alien is. Anyway, that's welcome to committee. Fanboy. I like the name of this one. So, quite a simple one. You've got a fan and you're trying to keep afloat some nice little butterflies. It's literally the same for all three of them, apart from one slight detail. There's more butterflies. You just have to do it the same way each time you win. Mario fan! Who's a Mario fan? Pun. Carrot away. Carrot away. Oh Jesus, this one. I've got like five bazillion wires underneath me and I have to do some ex 
extremely convoluted movements for this. Oh, I never really realised it did that. Interesting. Oh, that's because I've got scene detection on. It's going to be nightmare to edit. <laughs> it's me again. Okay. Right, what I have to do is jump up. Oh, there we go. This is nightmare. Because I'm, I'm going to step on something here. Pull, fella, pull, pull. <laughs> right. Try not to bring down. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. You got the idea for the first one, okay? I'm not doing that one again. Fired up. This I liked this one when I played it. It was a really fun one. Play this mini game. Basically, you have to rescue the little fella who's trapped in the fire by playing a nice little balancey thing game. But it gets a little harder because the second level is two. And you don't want to burn any people because if you burn people then you're a murderer. Oof, that was a tricky one. They jump off too close to each other, it's a nightmare. Anyway, Doughboy, which is this one. Very simple one, this one. If you have ever made a pizza, don't do this, but this is what it looks like. Yeah, a, a very small bit of pepperoni on that pizza. There's some clovers on that pizza, must be an Irish pizza. And finally, what's on this one? I like the way that their arms keep spinning afterwards, it's funny. Anyway, when I'm looking at the screen, I should be looking over, over here. It's over easy. Which is this one. Top is still underdone. And you just have to be careful. Oh, I messed up. I'm a terrible cook. Delicious. Ooh. And then the final one. Be a nice big fish. Wonderful. Okay, next one is called Cupsy Daisy. Yeah. Remote control one. So basically you have to... You know the ball and the cup things that old people say that they, they used to play with. Basically you have to do that. I'm not sure what, what was different about that one. Okay, so basically the same three things over and over and over again. Right. Next one is Escape Artist. Rescue. Basically, you have to rescue this little fella here. Away! Basically, drop the ladder down to him. Each time the buildings get a little bit trickier. You don't have to carry him away, you just have to pick him up by the ladder. How do you get stuck there? Very strange. Anyway. This escape artist now it's for a tearful reunion. Now this one's a little bit trickier than the rest of them. It's been too long years. Basically you have to get this person to this one. But gently, if you overdo it then they fly off into the opposite side of the island. And you don't you don't like whales. Handlebar. Got his handlebar. Go, go, go! There we go. That's how you do it successfully. Shocking it. Hand me down. It's basically, it does exactly what it says on the tin sort of game. There you go. And there you go, have a stick of dynamite. Right. Leaks. I am a far fetched. 
I'm gonna have to cut that bit out. Great. Good job. What happened there? Right, that's all of Mona's games. Cat and Anna are next. Let's go back to this menu here. Let's hope the thing doesn't drop in your frames like it has been. And Cookie Rookie is first. Basically, th this is, you know the dart one that I play with Benster. It's basically like that. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> It shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, this is this is horrible. How are you meant to make a cookie out of that? Oh, missed. Oh, I said I was terrible at it. A moment of reflection is needed, surely, for this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have to reflect some light onto this person's head. Oh no Maxim, I don't want to say, I don't want to hear hi, it's Kirby. <laughs> Wait a second, one second, I'm just going to reply to this in this video. Hi. Hi. I'm recording. I hope you like being a. Uh, sorry, not how you spell being. Being a guest star. So, yeah. Okay, now that moment of inconvenience is over. Oh god, this is gonna be tricky. Oh <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Now this saving face. From that thumbnail I'm not sure if that's a face. But let's move on to it anyway. Basically you have to take a photo of this lady's head. This is a very strange one, I have to say. Where have you gone? There, yeah, wonderful. I should be a photographer. One of my friends likes photo photography, photo photography, photography, photo photography, whatever. <laughs> Stick it through them. Now this one, whenever I play this one, I seem to always win straight away. Obviously not. There we go. Oh god! <laughs> this one's terrifying when it when you win it. You really don't want to win it. <laughs> As proven there. Anyway, that's how it works. Um fitting in. Now this one I love. Because you are in control of a Maui head. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> oh, he's so silly. Yay! Such a happy Moai head. Yay! Oh! I forgot. Oh, come on! <laughs> RDB wants a shout out. <laughs> you can be a guest star too. Yes, you can. You, you are now a un, un, how would you spell no? You are now a unanticipated guest star. Congrats. Anyway. <laughs> Stress. Yay for all these people, these guest stars that I'm having in this episode. <laughs> I don't even know how this has happened. 
Elephant. <laughs> you do want to be a guest star too. <sighs> anyway. Monkey, monkey. Go on, go. Budget dentistry. This is wonderful. Because then you get to be a dentist. I've always wanted to be a dentist. Well, not really, but... Ooh, definitely not now. Oh, God. The real life things that our dentists have to do to put up with. You must have had bay leaves or something. Oh, God. I'm glad I didn't see what was coming after that one. Simon says, This guy is apparently Simon. Samurai. Hua. Hua. Da 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 da. Samurai. Woo hey. Wonderful. I don't know why Simon turns into a robot. Who knows? Ooh, wait, wait. Now he turns into a Darth Vader, apparently. Mail to a. Ma mail to a. Why did I write it down as mail to? It's obviously mall to a. I don't know. I'll have to check. No, anyway, Samurai. Yay. I strummed one card. I am seriously a rock star. This was really easy. Samurai. Woo ha. That's a guitar solo, that one, compared to the first one. Okay, done. Now, back to young Cricket. Because he is actually an insect. Anchorman, Anchorman, where are you, Anchorman? Oh, I, I know how this works. Okay, you have to pull when, when this... Ugh, when that person waves. I'm terrible at the water because I'm very light. So I would not be an anchorman. I would be the person who flies forward when they get when I get pulled. Ow, I just hit myself in the chest. <laughs> Injury. Injury. Okay, this one is rather tastefully named Pink Eye. Friends are trapped in the room. Time to roast some baddies. Like Bailey Isaac. Hello, random burger boy. Yay! Peoples. How, how did these things keep lock them up? I don't understand how those people, those things, lock them up. Anyway, geared for landing. I have not managed to do this one yet because <laughs> I am useless. Games. Ooh, ooh. Wrong way. I, I'm terrible at this. That was the easy one. Oh no! I am dumb. <laughs> I got faked out by that thing. Wrong way! That's how not to do it. You have to do the opposite each time. And then you win. This bites. This mini game bites, so be careful. Elephant. So basically, you have to move this guy's head around so that the bug doesn't land on it and bring him out in a rash or whatever. He ate it! Delicious! Oh, wonderful. Yeah, that worked. So basically, you just have to keep moving. Uh, all wound up. Sleepy Snake has had a nice little lap, lap, nap around this. And now he just wants to have a nice slither off to a wall. It's confusing because he's the other ones that goes the other way. Took a walk. Poor heart. I'm not sure what I had to do with that one. What? What the hell's happening?
Something happened then. I was a tornado. <laughs> okay. Helping hand. So, which is this one? I can't remember this one at all. Don't let him hit the ground. Oh yeah, you have to rescue people. No, come on. Wake up. Oh. I'm pointing like directly at the screen. Come on! Ah! This is technical limitations. I'm holding it like the sketch artist at the moment. No. Okay, that was technical limitations. I could not do that one for some unknown reason. Look, it works fine now. Oh. Ashley. That's who's next, Ashley. Undercover agent to start off with. Which is this one. So you basically have to watch the meter and then put it up when it gets to the red. It doesn't have to be completely in the red, but it has to be in the red. Yeah, there we go. It gets thinner each time. The third one, it's only got one thing. Discard. Ooh, that was that was that mixed it up a bit. Now I'm confused. So I'm just gonna move on to bone appetite. Which is this one because I assume it's got because it's got a bone. Bone appetite, not bone appetite. Bone appetite. Discard. Basically you have to do it when the dog's not looking. Ooh. <laughs> not sure if that's hygienic though. Yay! We are good. Uh, you're fired. Basically, you have to do something. Ignite this. Yay! Remote control, now you have to ignite it. Is that avoiding the water? No, put out the thing. Because I am a safe person. Oh. That didn't work. Marching orders. Big cheeks. Hoo ah. Ow. <laughs> that works. Okay, I've got no sound because my headphones fell off. Big cheeks, whoa! <laughs> I'm getting a little bit close to you, fella. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got no control over my feet at all. In fact, I move my feet with my arms. Okay, that works. Basically, you know what you have to do with that. If I had more room, I would be able to do it. So flask me later how to do it, which is ironically what this one's called. Not ironically because I made that put on purpose. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, I didn't know how to do this one before either. So the rest of it just have to. Make. Yay! I am a magician man. Yay! That works. Uh, anything else? Uh, Ringmaster, which I do believe is this one. I didn't believe it was this one to begin with, but yeah, I did. Right. Basically, I'm going to do it how they're doing it. Which gets quite painful if you misjudge the trajectory, the strength. Ow. It, it gets painful if you do it three times in a row. Ow! <laughs> that didn't actually hurt, but I'm just 